to the TVCC Library online. This video will show you how to use the library catalog. The library catalog, here at the bottom of our webpage, is the best place to look up items in the physical library collection, including books, DVDs, audiobooks, CDs, magazines, and zines. In the library catalog search bar, you can search for an item or you can log into your patron account. And we'll discuss patron accounts at the end of this tutorial. Right now, to get started, enter a search term in the box and click search. The library catalog will open in a new window. At the top of the screen, you'll see the search bar. You can add additional search terms here to narrow your results, or you can change the kind of search you want to run by using the drop down menus. The type menu lets you search by keyword, title, or author. Use the format menu to change the kind of search you're running by searching only for books or DVDs. Finally, you can use the library menu to choose which library to search. The default library is the TBCC library, which means all the results you see on this page are available in our library. If you click on this box, you're gonna be able to see over 70 libraries in Oregon. This is handy if our library does not have the item you're looking for. The best way to use this tool is to scroll to the very top of the menu and click on Sage Library System. This option will search all of our partner libraries. Right now, I'll leave my search options as they are. Below the search bar is the results list. Each result is labeled with important information about the item. Publication information is listed below the title, and to the right of the title is an icon that indicates the source type. The first result on our list is a DVD. Below this information, you can see shelving information for the item. You'll need this information to find the item in the library. This section will show first which library has the item, TVCC in our case. Next, you can see the shelving location and the call number. All items in the TVCC library are shelved according to the Dewey Decimal System, a library system that assigns each item a number that corresponds to its subject matter. According to this listing, Star Trek is located in our DVD room at Dewey number 629.4 ST281STV2. Since the DVD room is shelved by subject, when I go to that Dewey number, I would expect to see other science fiction films shelved near Star Trek. Finally, in this item listing, you'll be able to check the availability of an item. Two statuses you may see are available and checked out. To the right of the item details, you can see a button that says place hold. This is an important button to use if the item you need is checked out, if you want to borrow an item from another library, or if you're a Caldwell student. When you place an item on hold, you're putting yourself on the wait list for the item. Most importantly, it means that we will send the item to the Caldwell campus for our Caldwell students to pick up at the student services desk. To start the hold process, click place hold, and then log in to your library account using your library card number and your password. Visit us in the library or use our online form to register for a library account. I'll log in now. After you sign in, you'll see this hold page. Here, you can change the pickup location for the item that you're ordering. If you want to pick up your item from the Ontario campus, leave the pickup location as Treasure Valley Community College Library. If you want to pick up the item from the Caldwell campus, change the pickup location by clicking the drop down menu and clicking on TVCC Caldwell. Next, select whether you wish to be notified by email or phone when your item is ready for pickup, and finally, click Submit. Please allow several days for your holds to become available and to travel to you. Now that you're logged into your library account, you will see some new options appear in the top menu of the catalog. Here, you can see a summary of the items you have checked out, items you have on hold, items that are ready for pickup, and any fines you have accrued. You can see all of this information in more detail by clicking on My Account. This will open your account summary. If you have accrued a fine or a replacement charge for a book, these fees will be listed at the bottom of the page 
under charges. You can also use the orange tabs to navigate to different sections. When you click items checked out, you'll see a list of all items currently checked out on your account. In this list, you can see how many renewals you have left for each item and their due dates. Renewals extend the due date of an item. To renew, click the tick box next to the item, select Renew Selected Titles from the drop-down menu, and then click Go. The item will update with a new due date. When you click on Holds, you'll see a list of items you have on hold. The item status will change from waiting for capture to in transit when the item is on its way to you. If you would like to cancel a hold for any reason, click the tick box next to the item title, select Cancel from the drop-down menu, and then click Go. Finally, you can update your email address or change your password in account preferences. When you are finished ordering books and checking your account, click Log Out. If you have research questions or technical difficulties, contact us at the TVCC Library. We're more than happy to help.